Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because, well, I might be coming back for a little while, at least. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I had to put creation of content on the back burner because of legal issues popping up, uh, work issues popping up. And in general, life wanting to kick me in the balls a million jillion times. So, ooh, here we are. Well, anyway, uh, as I said earlier, I just washed my hair. I doesn't want to floof properly. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know I am coming back. Uh, with a few caveats. Um... Tales of Asperia, um, due to my legal issues, I can't afford to buy the game, and it just recently left Game Pass. So that is going to be on hiatus for the foreseeable future. But there's another game that I've been throwing myself into that I kind of want to show. <laughs> and it's going to be really weird because I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> Because the game itself is very story sparse. Um, there is a story there, especially if you dig deep into it, deep into it. But um, you have to be willing to do the digging. And therein lies the problem. Uh, for games like this, some people don't want to do the digging. I kind of want to show you guys what awaits you should you play it and sure when everything is all said and done with my legal issues and everything else maybe i'll host a server of it to play with you guys in the future maybe it's neither here nor there it's a possibility that i want to entertain because it will keep me sane just entertaining future possibilities. Um, other than that, yeah, I will be back to content creation next week. <laughs> Not this week. I have only just gotten done with the arduous time. <laughs> Is Arduous doesn't give it enough credit. Um, it was painstakingly horrifyingly bad time at work i gave a guy the go-ahead to be gone for a month and a half he's also my best worker that month and a half was possibly the worst time ever i've ever had working there Everything that could have gone wrong did. Everything that could have... I gotta turn off my TV. Give me a second. Ooh. Everything that could have gone wrong did. Everything that could have broken did. And I was the only one who was capable of dealing with literally all of it. Um, my best worker would have been the next person who would have been able to do it and uh he was unreachable at least for the most part <laughs> and there is another issue that is somewhat of my doing somewhat of the company's doing and annoyingly exacerbated by the current climate in which jobs are available um for a while we were doing fine. The great reshuffling, as it has been called, had not been massively detrimental to our operations until that month and a half where my best worker was gone. Um, we were trying to hire more people. None showed up. None. The store I'm associated with uh, or at least my department is associated with because it's part of the store. Uh, um, we're having the same issue, but 
it was acutely, acutely strong in mine due to the fact that my department runs rather lean. And because we were already down a man, we were running leaner than usual. But I thought, you know what? No, we're fine. We'll be able to cover it. I even made up all the schedules thinking that they were covered perfectly fine. Unfortunately, the fact that I had relied on a copy-paste sort of strategy of taking last week's, putting it into the next week's schedule, I didn't see that there was no one to cover my days off until it was too late and there was nothing I could do but come in and work those days too. For a month and a half straight, I worked basically every single day. There were a few days that I managed to finagle a day off. Leave it to one of my uh, other morning people to handle running the station for a little while. Of course, with phone calls to me throughout the day. Uh, it was not fun. Not fun at all. Um, but we managed it somehow. And right as my best worker comes back, we have one guy moving to the store because for some reason he seems to think I have a vendetta against him and want the worst to come upon him. Don't understand why. Seems to be a very, very acute sense of paranoia with him. Um, presumably he is undiagnosed bipolar. I am basing that entirely on the fact that my brother is diagnosed and I'm seeing a lot of parallels. But regardless, he moves to the store as of next week. So the week that I get back to content creation. And then the week after that, one of our most recent hires is transferring to another store entirely. Because he has to move out to Lincoln City. I somewhat doxed him, but you don't know a name, so it's fine. Um, which is a significantly farther away endeavor than where he's currently living. So he won't be able to work with my store or my department at all. So there's that. I'm unsure which one is the more detrimental loss between the two of them. The one who seems to think I hate him and am actively conspiring against him for some reason. Uh, he's good at the basic job, but when details are involved, the minutiae around day-to-day -day operations, he fumbles the ball, for lack of a better phrase. The one who is a decent guy that will be losing the week after the other one. Um, how do I put this delicately? He reminds me of the former record holder of worst employee in that he constantly has to smoke every other car and for some reason cannot remove himself from his phone. Don't understand why. He's a good worker, which is where the similarities between our worst employee and he's a great worker. The problem is the other stuff. 
They're constantly smoking and then playing on his phone while he's doing it. He, he at least waits until there's no cars present. I'll give him that. But it does make him slower to get back into the swing of things when cars do show up. So, yeah, there's that. The paranoid employee is a great worker, too. Just seems to think I want him gone somehow. I... <sighs> I'm, I'm not going to get into that any further. The whole concept and idea of that is baffling to me. So I'm going to just get right back into what I was saying. Um, I am coming back next week. Uh, now that I'm done with the tangent, uh, I'm coming back next week. And we will be doing the schedule same as it used to be uh, from Sunday on. Just... You know, Tales of Vesperia will be changed out for a different game. And I'm not going to tell you that game. Because I want it to be a surprise. Because I'm an asshole like that. Anyway, so, with that in mind, I will end this video and I will see y'all on Sunday next week. Hope to see you there. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games, vlogging, and being in general a fucking moron. <laughs> Uh, getting himself into trouble, but doing his damnedest to pull himself out of it. And also keep himself sane during the interim between dealing with it. It's a long wait. It's really stupid. But I'll see you soon. I promise. For you.